Once again today, Chicagoans have been fighting to stay cool at work, even at school, or even out trying to enjoy a summer evening. NBC 5's V Wynn joins us live right now with that part of the story. V? Allison and Stefan, this heat caused a lot of problems for so many different school districts. We know some activities and events were either canceled or moved indoors because of this heat. Some people telling me they did whatever they could to stay safe, cool, and hydrated. For the second day in a row, Chicagoans are dealing with the intense heat. It's like stupid hot. The record breaking temperature didn't stop Julie Kloss and her family from venturing outdoors. They are visiting from Canada. And I actually saw a few people yesterday evening running. <laughs> it's like crazy. I don't know why you would do that. Maggie Daly Park, as you can imagine, was a ghost town. By late afternoon, the ground temperature was 125 degrees. Just try to stay in the shade and drink water. Go inside when you can. Miles away, the party was just getting started at 31st Street Beach under the scorching sun. I'm soaking wet. Uh, we've been setting up for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm soaking wet, my shirt drenched. When I get done talking to you all, I'll definitely be changing. Everyone telling us today they're just trying to find different ways to stay cool and enjoy what's left of summer. If Arizona can do this for 30 straight days, come on, we can do this for two days? Come on. Let's not cry. Come on, Chicago. We're, we're Chicago. We're, we don't cry about the weather. This father and daughter hit up the beach before heading out for a bike ride along the lakefront. The water was cold, but as soon as you got in, it felt good because the sand was really hot. Oh, it's, it's pretty bad. It's, you know, we haven't had this all year, so, you know, we're kind of suffering a little bit. But it's a good suffer, though. Despite the heat and humidity, the show went on at Wrigley Field with Guns N' Roses taking the stage. NBC5 learned to the ballpark made some adjustments for concert goers to stay cool, even adding misting fans on the upper deck. Now, the Chicago Park District says the major display at Buckingham Fountain was also canceled tonight because of this heat. But hey, we survived, and it looks like things <laughs> should be getting back to normal with cooler days ahead. Reporting live along the Riverwalk, V1 and VC5 News. I like Barry Nelson's response. We, we got this. We can do this. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. V.